Pello from Becky and me. Welcome to this evening's program. First, the mother stabbed to death by her controlling and jealous ex-boyfriend. Today, 47-year-old Lloyd Bartley was jailed for life for stabbing Penny Taylor 17 times with a kitchen knife at her flat in Cambridge. The sentencing comes as an Anglia Tonight investigation reveals cases of domestic violence are increasing in our region. Our correspondent Emma Baker was in court. She was described in court as a fantastic mother. But Penny Taylor's time with her two young children was cut short by their father, her boyfriend, Lloyd Bartley. He attacked his partner with a kitchen knife at a flat in Cambridge. He had learned Miss Taylor was expecting another man's baby. She was stabbed 17 times as their children looked on. The little boy can't, couldn't speak, but the little girl did say to me that she saw... saw um, Lloyd had done to Penny. She said that she saw um, Daddy sticking a knife in and out her mummy. Yeah. It's just awful. Tragic. In passing his sentence, the judge said, you quickly showed yourself to be a fluent and resourceful liar in your dealings with the police. You maintained a contrived and utterly bogus account of self-infliction. I have decided that the minimum term should be 20 years. You will be 67 before you are eligible for parole. While the sentence will be some comfort to Penny's family, nothing will bring back the daughter and mother they have now lost. Emma Baker, Anglia News, Cambridge. Well, sadly, the death of Penny Taylor is not an isolated one. 35% of murders in the UK are linked to domestic violence, according to the charity Women's Aid. The east of England was recently named as having the fewest specialist support services for female abuse victims in Britain. The people who supply those services say victims now face a perfect storm of spending cuts. Well, they also say it's when families face severe financial hardship that domestic violence is likely to rise. Elodie Harper has this special report. Displayed in Essex, the work and words of victims of domestic violence. Linda, who's from our region, was nearly killed by her ex-husband when she left him. He served time but refused to agree to a divorce, forcing Linda to go to court. Because she had a job, only part of her costs were paid by legal aid. She says this was a real struggle. You did consider representing yourself, didn't you, to try and save the costs? And why did you decide not to do it? Representing myself would have been too stressful. It got to the stage where I knew I couldn't do it alone. I needed the representative there for me. I needed that help and support. I feel legal aid should have been there for me. It was my fault, and I feel I should have been entitled to help. I was earning just over the minimum wage, but I still had to pay towards it. Been to work today. Been to work. I've been to work as well. Female abuse victims in the East are the worst provided for in the country, according to the Equality and Human Rights Commission. It looked at the number of specialist support services, such as rape crisis centres and refuges. At Colchester Library, a local refuge is putting on an exhibition for Domestic Violence Week. They're worried about spending cuts. Concerns are that less women are going to be reached at a time when more women may actually be suffering from domestic violence. Social pressures like people not working, spending more time together, lack of money, that's actually going to increase the pressure on a family. So it's likely then that domestic violence will increase. Figures obtained by Anglia Tonight show police forces across our region have seen a year-on-year -year increase in incidents of domestic violence during the economic downturn. Police say this is also due to victims feeling more confident about reporting crime. Suffolk police are concerned about spending cuts, but they're determined their new specialist centre for victims of domestic and sexual violence will help them continue to reach those in need. Domestic violence and sexual violence has always been a priority for Suffolk and Stanbury and it will continue to be so and for our partner agencies. So the services we provide will not change, but how we provide them will. One law firm in Luton says although victims have a statutory right to legal help if they go to court, the reality is they often don't get it. And cuts of £350 million to legal aid will make this worse. There are so many cuts and I think it would impact in that more and more people will not seek the protection that they deserve just because of the court process being so very daunting. What do you think the impact will be? Well, the suicide and 
death rates, I think, would, would increase. I think the impact could be that great. I know that there have been a few cases similar in Luton where that's been the case, where young individuals felt that they just couldn't turn anywhere. Legal aid is available, and following our proposals to uh, save on legal aid, domestic violence, I'm pleased to be able to confirm, will continue to be made available. The government is supporting uh, the fight against domestic violence in many other ways, through the special domestic violence courts, of which there are eight in the eastern region, uh, and also through rape crisis centres, which are actually going to be expanded uh, under government policy. The Home Office will announce the government's strategy for tackling domestic violence on Thursday. Elodie Harper, Anglia News. And if you are suffering from domestic violence and want more information, do head to our website. There's more information there. That's right. Log on itv.com forward slash Anglia. Right, moving on. Students will be protesting in Cambridge tomorrow against the rise in tuition fees. It follows the protests in the city earlier this month and, of course, the violent protests in London two weeks ago. Students will gather at lunchtime to rally against plans for universities to charge up to £9,000 a year in fees. Cambridgeshire police say they will respect their right to protest peacefully. Now then, after all the rumours of possible dates and venues, it is now official. Prince William and Kate Middleton will marry on Friday the 29th of April at Westminster Abbey in London. The announcement came during a visit to Ipswich by Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. Victoria Lampard reports. As patron of the Desert Rats, the Duchess of Cornwall was the ideal person to be invited to their annual reunion at Orwell Park School. For the veterans who attend, it's a very special occasion. You not only think of the boys that are here now, I tend to think of the boys we left behind. And I think it's, it's their day as much as it's ours. We was in and out of battles. We was lo I'm lucky to be here talking to you. The 7th Armoured Division, whose nickname became the Desert Rats, fought in every major battle during the North African campaign, which resulted in victory in 1942. May I say how wonderful it is for me to see so many Desert Rats here including several who fought with my late father, Major Bruce Shand, in North Africa. In May 1944, the Desert Rats were based here at Orwell Park School for a month. They camped out in the school fields, testing their vehicles in the woods and in the estuary in preparation for the Normandy landings. On the field is a memorial, and earlier the Duchess of Cornwall laid a wreath as those who were killed were remembered. It is if you like, a piece of living history as far as the children are concerned. Um, and I think they appreciate that. Despite the date of Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding being announced during the visit, there was no comment from the Duchess. Her second stop in Ipswich was to visit the hospital, where Her Royal Highness congratulated staff on their work, particularly involving osteoporosis, a condition that affected both her mother and grandmother. At Orwell Park School for the Veterans, this was another successful reunion, made extra special by the attendance of their patron. Victoria Lampard and Lee News, Nacton near Ipswich. Okay, it's coming up to ten minutes.